So I'm working on a mix of a live band here in Reason, and I want to shift some of the timing of the parts around. Now, there are ways we can do it with time stretch and we can move things around in the timeline, but now there's actually a rack extension that will help us with this. This is a TS1 time slider from Robotic Bean, and it may look really simple. Well, it is really simple. It's one slider, one display, and a button, so it doesn't get much more simple. But what it actually does is really impressive. Now, before I start demonstrating how you operate the TS1, I want to tell you a little bit about what's under the hood and how it actually works. To understand this, you've got to know that Reason contains delay compensation. Now, all this does is it adds some delay, adds some time into the audio stream so that the processing of plugins can be compensated for. This means everything's in line, everything plays at the same time, and it's down here. You can turn it on and off. Now, you don't really need to know anything about this to take advantage of it. It happens automatically. But what the clever folks at Robotic Bean have done here is they've taken advantage of this code and they've leveraged it to make the TS1. You can pass audio through the TS1 and make it play later by sliding the fader this way, or more impressively perhaps, you can make it play sooner by sliding this way. Now what this means is that it's actually going to play earlier than it's placed in the timeline, and it allows you to push or pull audio parts so that they play later or play sooner. Now this can be great for altering performances, so if you've got a guitarist or a bass player that's a little sloppy, you can bring them in a little sooner, and if they're playing a little early, you can make them play later. So it's super simple, but you can also use it as an effect. So let's say we had two claps or snares. You could pan them left and right. You could have one playing a little later and one playing a little earlier. Next up, I'm going to show you the TS1 in action, and we'll take a look at it actually processing some audio.